Hey guys, I'm Matt Paulson here. Uh, the topic of hiring has come up a lot in the Startup Sioux Falls community lately, and you just probably shouldn't be surprised uh, to anyone given our city's historically low unemployment rate. I think it's somewhere between 2 and 3% right now. So a lot of companies need workers, and a lot of those workers uh, don't, don't exist or need to be hired from elsewhere, and it's just a challenge uh, for every business owner right now. Uh, my friend uh, Chelsea Geed, local business owner, boutique, excuse me, a local boutique owner in Sioux Falls, uh, she recently published a series of podcast episodes about hiring and how her company is hiring. And that got me kind of thinking, you know, how do we do hiring at Markaby? Where did these people come from? And how did I even hire them in the first place? So, you know, Markaby right now, we have seven employees. We have a handful of independent contractors that work from both Markaby and Startup Sioux Falls. You know, we are not a big company by any means, but I've kind of developed a, a pretty simple strategy that's worked well for our small business. And, you know, I thought it would be worth sharing in this video. Uh, I especially think it's worth sharing because nobody has ever quit or gotten fired from either Market Beat or Google Photo Contest or Star Sioux Falls or really anything else that I'm involved, involved with. And I think that's something to be proud of. Um, so the strategy is this. Um, one, uh, be actively engaged in the community. Meet a lot of different people, uh, volunteer at nonprofits, go to community meetups, that kind of stuff. Two, um, of the people that you've met, you hire the ones that you like. And three, offer a salary and benefits package that they can't refuse. Uh, pretty simple, but allow me to elaborate in a little bit of detail. So 2013, I was an entrepreneur. I just had quit my day job. And I was tired of kind of being the lone wolf entrepreneur operating out of my house. with a lot of human interaction during the day. So... I got involved, um, you know, at the time I had a part-time employee and I knew I would need to build my team over the next several years. So um, I got involved with a variety of different nonprofits and community groups, uh, such as One Million Cups and Downtown Rotary and Sioux Falls Seminary and the Zeal Center. Um, I started going to networking events that the chamber put on and then as well as other technology and startup meetup groups in our city. Uh, I also started working at downtown coffee shops a co-working space that used to exist called the bakery and then eventually a small a downtown office of my own so by just being an active member of the community showing up to stuff um, i just ended up meeting a lot of different people um, by being so engaged and involved in the community i mean it wasn't uncommon for a while i'd go to five or ten different events a week and eventually you kind of start to see a lot of the same people you get to know people you know their strengths you know their weaknesses you know their work habits you know what they can do what they can't do and Actually, I kind of came across some people that I thought, you know, hey, I think uh, I think I might enjoy working with this person, you know, on a permanent basis. So uh, when that kind of happened, the uh, first time, um, um, it, was, it was myself and then our part-time customer service person, uh, Stevie Shea, still works at the company at the time, and we we both kind of knew we needed to grow. So I uh, met my second employee, uh, Rebecca McKeever, at the co-working space called the Bakery back in the day. I saw her work, I hired her to do a couple of freelance projects, and eventually I hired her to work full-time at MarketBeat. Um, so even before we talked about a job, she'd already done a couple of projects for me. I had seen her um, be involved at the bakery, and I saw her um, you know, do a couple other freelance projects as well. Um, and my fourth employee, Will Bushy, at a technology meetup group called South Dakota Geeks. Uh, several years back, I met my fifth employee, Ryan Kwam at an informal uh, gathering of technology enthusiasts that meets on Thursdays at Queen City Bakery. Uh, you know, both Ryan and Will worked for a company called Bright Planet uh, that went out of business at the end of the last year. So uh, kind of when their jobs ended, um, there was an opportunity there and I uh, offered them both positions. Uh, I met my sixth employee, uh, Maureen Ohm at One Million Cups. So she was previously a One Million Cups organizer in like 2015, 2016. So I knew what her capabilities and strengths um, were from that volunteer role. So when it came time for me to hire an executive assistant earlier this year, you know, Maureen was their first person that I thought of. Um, so I also met uh, Becky Squire and Miranda Husky, who are both uh, kind of freelancers and volunteers for Startup Sioux Falls. I met them through One Million Cups as well. So I don't really have any special job posting websites or Facebook groups or anything that I used to advertise positions at MarketBeat. In fact, I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever, like, posted a job posting and hired somebody. Uh, so I don't write lengthy job descriptions or dream about the attributes of a perfect candidate. Don't have any unique interview questions that I ask um, or have a fancy interview process that involves multiple interviews. Uh, really, I just think of people in the Sioux Falls community 
that I know and like um, and I think would be good at the job and then I just ask friends, family, and business acquaintances you know, for potential candidates as well. So once I kind of think there's somebody I want to hire, I just go have a conversation with them, have coffee with them to gauge their interest, see if there's a fit. And I usually actually don't really need to even do an interview because I already kind of know who they are and what they're about. And um, I'm also, you know, not afraid to train people. Um, when Rebecca McKeever started, I hired her more for her work ethic and her personality um, than I did her skill set. You know, she wanted to become a software developer, but it was pretty light on that those skills. Uh, so I sent her through a code bootcamp program uh, so she could be learn how to be a developer. So, um, you know, I, when I when I think of people that I want to hire, it's often more for you know, just who they are and what they're about and uh, what their ethics and, and morals are and, uh, you know, what their priorities are um, in addition to, to, to hard skills. So if I find somebody that I want to hire uh, who also, you know, they're interested in working at MarketBeat, um, I tend to make them an employment offer that's um, better what they're getting now and probably better than what they could get from most other companies in town. Uh, so our company, uh, historically has had a 70% profit margin so we just have the luxury of paying above market salaries and you know not worrying about it all that much uh, we can just we can afford to pay higher salaries than other companies uh, that are competing for the same types of candidates in our community um, we also let our employees work from home that's a benefit that they value greatly um, you know, if they want to work downtown at a coffee shop or at the zero center or get an office I don't really care where my employees work as long as they're getting their work done. And there is a lot of trust involved with that. But, um, you know, we hire people that are self-starters and uh, good self-managers. Um, uh, so we're not, yeah, so you know, we just find people we can trust and then we trust them. Uh, we also pay for health insurance. We have a good 401k plan. Um, you know, I think our employees end up getting about 8% of their, their salary matched. Uh, so that's a really good deal for them. We have a charitable matching plan and um, there's a lot of free, uh, free lattes and coffee given out at uh, Queen City as well. Uh, so it would just be unlikely that somebody ever leaves market beat for another company because of pay and benefits. Uh, we can just do more than a lot of other companies can. Um, so how market beat, we, how, how we hire people, not going to work for every company. Um, you know, especially if you need more than a dozen employees, it's hard to hire that many people that you meet. Our hiring strategy isn't elaborate or complicated but it has worked pretty well for us. I meet a lot of people I like. I offer them you know, money to provide for their families. I give them a healthy work environment. My employees have told me that they like their jobs and the work they do. And we've just never had a mishire because you know, I've known everybody that's worked for MarketBeat for at least three years before I've hired them. So that's our hiring strategy. And this is Micah. Micah, do you want to say hi for the video? Hi. And that is the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.